Hello, this is calendars lesson 3. In this, I will continue with basics and questions on calendar. Now, first question is 7th of April 2011 is Friday. What will be the day on 11th August 2011? Now, I will count the odd total days and odd days after 7th April. Now, in the month of April, how many days are left after 7? There are 30 days, so 23 days of April. And how many days are in May? This is 31 days. And how many days are in June? This is 30 days. Uh, July, 31 days. And August, I have only 11 days. I As I need to calculate the day on 11th of August. One way could be you add all these and then divide by 7. Rather than adding all these and divide by 7, that will be a difficult task. I straight away divide by 11. 7. So 7, 3 is 21. Remainder is 2. So it means that in April, I have two odd days. How to calculate odd days? Just divide by 7 and calculate the remainder. 7, 3 is 21. Remainder is 2. Here, 7, 4 is 28. Remainder is 3. Here, 7, 4 is 28. 2. This is 3. And here, 4. So, these are the odd days. Add these odd days. This 2 plus 3, 5. 5 to 7. 7, 3, 10. 10, 4 is 14. 14, again, divided by 7. The remainder is 0. It means that I have zero odd days. Zero odd days means same day. So it means that 11th Feb August 2011 would be the same Friday as I have zero odd days. Now question 2 is 8th February 2016 is Saturday. What will be the day on 21st July 2016? Now this is a leap year. 2016 is a leap year. So how many days in February I left with? 29 days total. So after 8th February I have 21 days. And what about March? March I have 31 days, uh, April I have 30 days, May I have 31 days, June I have 30 days and finally July I have only 21 days. So I will calculate the number of odd days, 7, 3 are 21, remainder is 0, 0 odd days, 7, 4 are 28, 3 odd days, this is 2 odd days, this is 3 odd days, this is 2 odd days and this is 0 odd days. Now count this 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 plus 2 10. So total finally I have 10 odd days again divided by 7. So remainder is 3. So finally odd days are 3 odd days. Now 3 odd days means uh, I need to add 3 days to the given day. Saturday plus 3. Now Saturday is a 6th day. 6th day of the week. Now 6 plus 3 9. Again divide by 7 this is 2. 2 means Tuesday. Or simply you can uh, add the days. After Saturday first day would be Sunday, then second day would be Monday and third day would be Tuesday. So Tuesday will be my final answer. Now I am going to explain you a very important concept. 1st January 1974 is Friday. Now what will be the day on 1st January 1975? Now first count how many days are in between. So how many days after 1st Jan? So 1974 is known leap year. So total 365 days. So after after 1st January, there are 364 days plus one day of 1st January 1975. So total are, I have 365 days. Total are 365 days. I'm just writing here. Total 365 days. Now if you divide this by 7, the remainder is 1. 364 is completely divisible by 7. So one odd day. If you divide this, remainder would by 7. Remainder would be 1. One odd day. One odd day means they were just add one to this so friday plus one would be saturday so saturday so same date uh the gap first jan to first jan year gap in the same date there will be only one days now look at this here 1975 to 1976 again this is non leap year so total will be 365 days from 2nd of january 1975 to 1st January 1976 again one odd day and you will be this would be Sunday now here there will be twist 1st January 1976 to 1st January 1977 now 1976 is a leap year and it has 29th February so from 1st January 1976 how many days are left in year this that year 365 total days are 366 but after 1st January if you exclude that from 2nd of January to 31st December, there are 365 days. 
प्लस वन डे ऑफ फर्स्ट जनवरी 1977 सो फ्रॉम सेकेंड ऑफ जैन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी टू फर्स्ट जनवरी 1977 सेवेंटी देर आर थ्री डेज एंड इफ यू डिवाइड दिस बाय सेवन देर विल बी रिमाइंडर वुड बी टू सो देर यू हैव टू ओर डेज एंड इट विल बी संडे प्लस टू दैट इज ट्यूजडे एंड अगेन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी सेवन टू सेवेंटी एट देर इज नो नो ट्वेंटी नाइन फेबर सो टोटल डेज आर थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव एंड इफ डिवाइड द रिमाइंडर इज वन वन ओर डे एंड इट विल बी वेंसडे सो वट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस फर्स्ट जैन टू फर्स्ट जैन वन ईयर गैप वन ईयर गैप विदाउट ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ फेबररी विल बी वन ओर डे वन ओर डे वन ईयर गैप विद ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ फेबररी इन बिटवीन वन ईयर गैप विद ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ फेबररी इन बिटवीन देर आर टू ओर डेज and that is the concept i want to teach you now examples i'm going to take 8th february 2013 is friday then what would be day on 8th february 2014 again you can say that same date 8th feb to 8th feb one year gap now one year gap without 29th february just count that is there a 29th february in, uh, in the gap just a one year gap one year gap there is 29th february no so the answer is one odd day One odd day, just one odd day. So same date to same date, one year gap without twenty ninth February, one odd day. So, so my day would be Saturday, straight away, because there will be three sixty five days divided by seven. The remainder would be one one odd day. Now second case, ninth February nine ninth March two thousand fifteen to ninth March two thousand sixteen. Again a one year gap. Now this is a twist. One year gap with twenty ninth February. With twenty ninth February in between, you can see that as two thousand sixteen is a leap year, so there will be twenty ninth February two thousand sixteen. So whenever twenty ninth February come, one extra odd days, apart from the apart from one odd day that we have from with the gap of one year. So ninth March two thousand fifteen to ninth March two thousand sixteen, there will be total two odd days. One odd days we generally have with a one year gap. and one extra odd days for 29th february so very very important same date to same date one year gap we will always have one odd days but whenever 29th february come there will be one extra odd day so total there will be two odd days and this will be wednesday day plus 2 that's the thursday and friday so friday would be my answer very very important third question 10th july 2014 to 10th july 2017 now the same date How many years we have? We have straight away. I will, I will count in the fastest way. How many years I have? Three years. Complete three years in between. Tenth July two thousand fourteen to tenth July two thousand seventeen. Now three years straight away means three odd days. One year gap, one odd days. Three year gap, three odd days. One plus one plus one, three odd days. Now just count. Is there any twenty ninth February and how many twenty ninth February are in between? 2014 to 2017. There is one 29th February, and that will be 29th February 2016. So one extra day for 29th February. So one more extra odd day for this extra odd days is for 29th February. That will come in between 29th February 2016. So very very simple. So total would be four odd days. Now four odd days after Friday would be how much? Friday plus four. Friday plus two is Sunday. Sunday plus two is Tuesday. so this will be tuesday so very very important just very simple concept i am again revising look at the gap 10th july to 10th july 3 years 3 years straight away means 3 odd days now just count how many 29th february comes only one times so one extra day for that one extra odd day so total there will be four odd days four odd days after friday would be tuesday now one more example 8th october 2009 to 8th october 2020 now date is same same date to same date how many years gap 9 to 20 there is 11 year gaps so 11 year one year one odd days 11 year 11 odd days straight away 11 year gap same date to same date 11 odd days now count the how many 29th february comes so 29th february will come in 2012 that is a leap year 2016 and also for 2020 because 8th october is a date There will be twenty ninth February two thousand twenty. So three times the twenty ninth February comes. So three extra odd days for that. 
सो टोटल देर आर इलेवन प्लस थ्री फोर्टीन ओर डेज फोर्टीन ओर डेज अगेन डिवाइड बाई सेवन सेवन टू जोटीन फाइनली आई हैव जीरो ओर डेज जीरो ओर डेज सो इट मीन्स दैट एक अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी विल बी द सेम डे एज मंडे न क्वेश्चन इज नाइन्थ मार्च नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट इज वेंसडे वट बी द डे ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन नाइन्टी नो फर्स्ट स्ट्रेट अवे आई विल मूव टू द नाइन्थ मार्च वेर एवन दिस क्वेश्चन कम्स गो टू द नाइन्थ मार्च Go to the same year. Now same date to same date. How many years? There are twenty-two years. Nineteen seventy-eight. There are twelve years, not twenty-two years. There are twelve years in between. Seventy-eight to ninety. So twelve years straight away will have twelve odd days. And how many twenty-ninth February comes? So twenty-ninth February will come for nineteen eighty, and then nineteen eighty-four, and then it will come nineteen eighty-eight. No century year, leap year only when uh, the year is last two digits are divisible by four. So there will be leap year for there will be twenty ninth February on nineteen eighty, nineteen eighty four, eighty eight. So three times twenty ninth February, so three extra odd days, so fifteen. Fifteen divided by seven. So finally I have one odd day. Seven to the fourteen remainder is one. One odd day means Wednesday plus one that is Thursday. So it means that ninth March nineteen nineteen would be Thursday. Now I, I, you have to move from ninth March to twelfth uh, of August. So how many days after in March? Ninth March after ninth March, March have thirty one days. So nine days are gone. So you are left with twenty two days in March. After ninth March there are twenty two days. Then you have April that was thirty days. Then you have May that is thirty one days, and then you have June again thirty days, and July. You have how many days? Thirty-one days, and then you have twelve days for August. Oh, so I'm just writing here plus twelve days August. I have twelve days. Now uh, just count the odd days. Now twenty-two by seven. Seven three are twenty-one. The one odd day. This is seven four are twenty-two. This is three. Again divide by seven and calculate the remainder. This is two. This is three, and this is seven one zero seven plus uh, remainder is five. Count this: five plus one, six, two, eight, three, eleven, two, thirteen, and three, sixteen. I'm just again counting: three, two, five, five, three, eight, eight, two, ten, ten, even eleven, eleven, five, sixteen. Seven to the seven divided sixteen by seven. Seven to the fourteen. Remainder is two. So final there are two remainder means two odd days after Thursday. So after Thursday, two odd days means Friday, one odd day, Saturday, second odd day. So my answer would be Saturday. So this way we can calculate these kind of questions. Uh, that was all about this lesson in next lesson i will continue with more on calendars thank you